We're talking about money, right? Yeah, money after value. Well, who owes the most? Number one, two, or three? Who owes the most money? Yeah. Number three. So you said number three, but wait, wait a minute. I thought that negative 35 and 25 hundreds was greater than negative 39 and 25 hundreds. Let me draw a number line. I want you guys to think about this. If I had a number line, and we're talking about negative numbers, correct? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't negative 35 and the negative 39, wouldn't it line up this way? Yeah. And I thought we said if it's closer to zero, it has a greater value. So what's the difference here? 39 is farther, is to the left more to the left of 35, so it's farther away from zero. Anyone else? What's the difference between the two? Uh, um, 35 it has a cl um, it's closer because it's where uh, it's. I want you guys to think about the situation that we're in. Remember, guys, when we talk about swimming, things like temperature, elevation, money, we're thinking about absolute value. It is a di there's a difference, the context, the real world situation. So, I mean, think about it. Even though if I'm looking at this as a, as a flat integer, we know that negative 35 is greater than negative 39 because it's closer to zero. But if I ask you who owes the most money, and we're talking about absolute value, which is 35, and this is the absolute value of 39 is? 39. 39. Who owes more money? The person who owes $35 or the person who owes $39? 39. 39. 